What mammal has opposable thumbs, messy hair, and loves to climb trees? This one. But we're not the only ones. There are many of the primate group that have a lot of things in common with humans. Let me figure out how to get down from here while I show you what I mean. Now, when I say primate, I'm talking about a group of mammals that includes lemurs, tarsiers, lorises, monkeys, apes, and yes, even humans. Even though we look different, we all share some things in common. Front-facing eyes with good vision, opposable thumbs, nails instead of claws, rotating shoulder sockets, and relatively large brains in relation to the size of our bodies. Today, we're visiting one of the most well-known of the primates, the orangutan. Their name means man of the forest, and by looking at our troop, you can definitely see how they got that name. Orangutans, because they live in the trees and they brachiate, So their, all their joints and their arms are different than ours. So they have a lot more flexibility and movement of those joints to easily adapt. And their hands and feet are pretty much the same, are very similar where they have that opposable first digit that can grasp the branches really easy. Orangutans are found in Southeast Asia on the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. So they have evolved quite a bit differently than their African counterparts. They are solitary or semi-solitary. They don't form large groups like bonobos, chimps, and gorillas do. They prefer to eat a lot of fruit, but researchers have shown that they eat up to 300 different types of food in the wild. We feed them a small portion of fruit, and then they also get roots and vegetables and leaves and lettuce. They will pretty much eat anything. Because they are great seed dispersers, if orangutans weren't around, we would have less biodiversity in the rainforest. Orangutans are arboreal, so that means they live in the trees. And what we do here at the zoo is we have a lot of vertical space for them, a lot of artificial trees and ropes and poles for them to swing and climb through our artificial rainforest. So the number one challenge to orangutans, unfortunately, is us, and that comes in different forms. The biggest is the destruction of the rainforest to preserve the palm oil crop for farmers. Palm oil is a, a type of vegetable oil. It is derived from the palm tree. And so what is so unique about it is that it is very high yielding and very cheap and grows fast. It is found in so many different products, whether it's food products or even health and beauty like your shampoo and your makeup. One of the easiest ways that we can help orangutans is be smarter consumers. And we want to try to buy our products from companies that are trying to be sustainable. Palm oil is not going to go anywhere. It's in all of our products. So if we make smarter choices, then we can help orangutans in the wild. So let me get this straight. You're telling me if I do a little research, I can get snacks like these and I can still help these guys out? Well, sounds like a good deal to me. <laughs> Anything for these awesome animals. <laughs>